So this is one thing in the relationship space right now, especially in this 21st century, that tends to irritate women. And is the fact that it looks as if anything that has to do with relationship conversation, it looks like, as if it's always, almost always focused on women, women, women. And there are many times that many people have asked on that comment section, of made statements, perhaps even made videos, who knows, to ask, so who is talking to the men? In this video, this I plan on keeping it short, I actually want to share three reasons why you think most relationship coaches are focusing on women. Why, again, notice and underline the word I use, why you think most relationship coaches are focusing on women. The first point is that women have access to sex. They have the sex access. And in another video, which, by the way, is a good time to subscribe if you want to follow my journey and my thought pattern of how I help women meet and marry their husbands while being successful because I show you how to be successful and successfully married. I believe that you can be successful and successfully married because I'm living out that reality in my own life. And I know many other people that are living it as well. So if that looks like something that you're interested in, you can come along this journey by subscribing and turning on your notification, not just watching this video, all right? Back to what I was saying, women have access to sex and I'm going to do another video where I expand on that. But what I mean, and to just talk about, just touch it briefly, is that a lot of coaches that are being genuine, I'm not talking about, because we have a lot of people out there who are there to just make money, to just jump on the things that are trending, to just make noise. It's not what we're focusing on in this video. But for the people who are being genuine and seem to be concentrating on women, it is because it has been proven that women have the access to sex. This means that if a woman doesn't give a guy the sex that he is looking for outside the context of marriage, then he will either be motivated to marry her or is going to just find something to do with his life. Here's an example. A woman wants to get married. And then you know that once you start playing house, you start sleeping in, doing all that, he's going to demotivate the guy from getting married. You already know that, but you feel and you are tilting towards your feeling rather towards the facts that are on ground, knowing that this is how this guy is going to be committed to you, or this is one of the ways. So this is not, so don't come and say, oh, it's not by only sex. No, it's one of the ways to, to get commitment from a guy to reserve sex for marriage is absolutely one of the ways. It doesn't mean it's all of the ways or doesn't mean, oh, um, other people that have done it, they've been successful or other people that have not done it have not been successful because people always come from a place of, many people come from a place of bitterness when they are watching videos like this. So clear out your mind and understand the context I'm talking about in this particular instance. Back to what I was saying. Many, we, even women that are not girlfriends of men seem to be given sex, which is something that was built and created for marriage to a lot of guys. So a lot of guys are not getting married because they're already getting the so-called thing that they're supposed to be getting out of marriage. Let's call it a tangible thing. There are other intangibles or things that you may not be able to see, touch, and smell that obviously you're not going to get from anywhere outside of marriage, no matter how much you try to fake it. But for that tangible one, like sex, which was rightly created by God for marriage, a lot of people are getting it outside of marriage. Even if their girlfriends doesn't give it to them, another girl is willing to throw herself to give it to the guy for whatever point that she's trying to prove. I'm saying all this to say that, so sometimes messages are tilted and are focused towards women to help them understand that if they 
we draw the supply of sex in this instance, then the demand of marriage and commitment and dedication from men is going to increase. Do you get, it's just the way a lot of women are becoming baby mamas in this day and especially in the black American culture. And I'm not even sure what they're expecting with the whole baby mama thing. So you become a baby mama then does that mean that you're expecting the guy to love you more or because you share a child together, then you're expecting him to just be extra in terms of commitment? You have to understand that you gave yourself, you have the sex access, men have the marriage access. You gave yourself and you allowed this guy <laughs> to have sex with you. I'm saying so many sex in this. I hope it's not a problem to this YouTube video in terms of, yeah. Anyways, so you have that, uh, that sex access and then you, you, the guy has the marriage access. You could have withheld you could have withheld rather that sex access from him and tell him if you want to get this, then you do that. And that in that instance, in this instance, we're talking about marriage. So do you get why, why it seems like a lot of times, a lot of attention is thrown towards women. You need to get the point so that you don't go around being bitter. It's because the access, women are giving out their access cheaply. And I'm going to do a video regarding that. I've already said that. Uh, the, uh, uh, well, depending on when you're watching this, you probably will see this before that video. But continuously, women continue to quickly give out their own access while men seem to be wise with their own access wise in quotes the conversation and why it looks like a lot of people are speaking to women is that they are trying to help women see the perspective that you have so much power and if you know how to navigate that power that you have and that you are holding then we are going to see a lot more men married and be committed before getting sex. You will get the sex in the marriage anyways. So rather than him, he has the marriage card. Let's think about it in terms of a credit or debit card. You have the sex card. You, what happens is that women continue to swipe their own. They continue to swipe their own. They continue to commit to swiping their own. And the men with the marriage card, they are not swiping for whatever reason. Yeah, for whatever reason, I'm not getting into that in this video. So that's one of the reasons. And there are other examples, but I just want to focus on three points. And just these three points will be able to drive home the points. The, the whole, yeah, the point of this video, why I decided to do this video. So if you think about it this way, and you think about it without being defensive, you know that what we're saying makes a lot of sense. And for some women, it's not even, it may not be you, you may not be in the category giving out sex to guys. You're probably just, if you're, you, you're, there's a category of women who don't even believe in sex outside of marriage. So they are watching this and they're like, say, you know, like I'm not in that category. What is happening that maybe even be, maybe, maybe hindering some guys that could be serious is that there are some other women that are in that category that are willing to throw themselves out for one night stand for anything possible, just to for maybe feel like they have a self esteem, feel like they have a child with a guy or feel like they have meaning or feel like they are wanted. There are many reasons why women all feel like they can get married. You know, some people do that. They think they'll get married by giving sex. So there are a lot of wrong reasons why women give their access to sex cheaply, easily, and too hastily to guys. Meanwhile, the guys are there with their marriage access and they're just not going to give it out or they seem to be holding it than now uh, than ever before they seem to open it tougher than they were holding it in the past and that is why a lot of messages are focused towards women because they're like hey women we draw your supply and we're going to start seeing a better demand in from the departments of the men uh, from the <laughs> departments of the marriage school for men so that they can get married and be interested in commitment marriage and 
um, integrity, character, everything in between. The number two reason why it seems as though many coaches, whether they are certified, not certified, self coaches, joke coaches, any anyone you call it, seem to be focused on women more than men in relationships is because women are louder about their desires for marriage hence the response is to the volume of the of of the voices of the women women are louder about their desire for marriage and the response to to, to people creating courses or people talking to women or having something to say about women 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 is based on the response to the volume of the voices of this women. Women are more vocal. And when I say women are more vocal about a desire for marriage, it's not like women are say, oh, I want to get married though, even though some people do it now. And there's nothing wrong with that, by the way, <laughs> just so you know. There is women that would do things like, oh God, when, no, oh, my own baby shower, when will I do it? Or when will my friend's wedding? Or blah, blah, blah. Or it's women that will point out the kind of wedding they want to have. All of those things, even a lot of, say, br bridal dresses or bridal companies and all that, it's really the women that they appeal to that to spend money. Then they can now talk to their few percentage of men that are interested in those things, but majority is the women that they appeal to, and then the women will now go and collect the money from the men. So the interest, there's already a market for women because there's already an interest and there's already a loud volume of the voices of women unlike a lot of men where it's just now that we're having this culture of men speak up blah 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 you know some of these things that are going around about helping men to speak up better the voices of women are loud even outside of relationship even in other aspects and categories now the voices of women are still louder so the louder the voice the more the coaches are looking to who is already an existing and a ready market, all right? And so they jump into that particular, um, the, okay, women, women talk, responding as a response to the volume of the voice, not necessarily just because they want to concentrate on women. Because some of these people feel, if I talk to men, would I get, would I, would it be profitable? You know, there are just questions to ask, especially if you want to make money off of this for the people that are doing that. This is a good time to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you're enjoying this video, like this video so that more people can get the understanding that you're getting. Uh, did I introduce myself? I'm Sage, you know, and I told you what I did uh, earlier on, but I'll just say it again. I help successful, successful single women meet and marry their husband, helping them and showing them how to be successful and to be successfully single too, especially in this 21st century. So subscribe, share your comments. What point do you agree with, disagree with? What questions do you have? It's a good time to share your comments as well. The third and final point is you haven't searched well enough to see those attending to men. You haven't. As a person who, for me, my own case is not, uh, uh, my own particular case of teaching and sharing to women is a calling. It's not something I jumped into because the market is sweet or the market is, is ripe. That's not mine. And some people do it. That's what some a lot of business coaches actually encourage, which market is ripe. Jump into that, which is why number two's point is valid. But mine that's not my own, is a calling. And for those who don't know me, I've been teaching and training and helping women see themselves the way God sees them and growing them in their identity for close to 10 years before I even started helping women become, helping women who are successful, remain successful while, remain, while being, showing them how they can continue to grow in their success while remaining successfully married. In fact, it is because I already have that foundation of helping and teaching women to grow in their identity that I actually have the authority to teach this. So I'm not coming from a place of the market is ready, the market is ripe, or the market is red. Personally, it's a, it's a calling and it's an assignment and it's part of my purpose. And then it is the next level of the foundation I've been building the lives of women since I started at the time of this video is close to 10 years now. You may be watching this video. It may probably be more than 10 years since I've been doing that, depending on when you come 
in contact with this video. So that's that for that. Me, I'm just sharing generally because it's something that is in the on, it's on the minds of people. So I thought I needed to address it because I mine is a calling and all that doesn't mean it's same for other people or doesn't mean that people like you understand why it seems like so many people concentrate on women. Number two things for me. Even though my primary audience and people have been called to are women, I also, as much as possible, do well to speak to men as much as I can. On air, on radio, I have a lot of male audience, so I use that opportunity to speak to them and to influence them positively. So for a person who is listening to you, probably also has this as a calling. There are times that you can also use your influence to also help men grow as well because ultimately apart from what i do for women as a coach i have a organization a company that i founded to help male and female meet each other which is the meet your partner company you can find it on the meet your partner community on instagram so i'm helping male and female get married in through that community is not just female so yeah if you want to be a part of that find out more details about that check the description so there are, there are ways we can do that, but I, again, I just wanted to share about my own self and how I can help you and why I have the authority to help you. Finally, and let's close out, you haven't searched well enough to see those attending to men. Like I said, in my own sphere, I attend to men. You may not see me attending to men a lot on social media, but if you don't, if you don't listen to radio, then you're not going to know that I attend to men a lot on radio because I have a lot of male audience listening to me on radio. That's one. Number two, you need to search well. Don't forget that men are not as loud as women when it comes to this married thing. So stop assuming that nobody is speaking to men. Nobody is speaking to men in your radar. And that one, go and go and research them and go and get into those circles that are speaking to men. I know you know people that are speaking to me. I know, I know. So I don't used to feel like, oh, it's only women. That personally, I don't feel that way. I'm doing this video because I realize that it's a thing in the air. Many times I've seen some comments. I've seen people fighting about it. You know, yeah, it's just a thing in the air. So research. There are many, but there, this a lot of these people are not even popular. They're not popular. They don't have followers. So you may sometimes some people may not reverence them or think that they have something intelligent to say because they don't have one million followers. But a lot, a lot of even women that are catering to men, a lot, a lot. But it's not as loud because don't forget when it comes to this marriage and relationship thing, women are louder than men. So if you are not intentional about these three things I've just said. Women have access to sex, and that's why many people tell to, um, try to teach women to hold that supply so that the demand for men's commitment can increase. Women are louder about their desire, and so they're already a ready market for many people to jump into and just start coaching. And then number three, you haven't searched well enough. These are your three reasons why it seem, a lot of people are talking to women. And I will also add, it seems as if it looks like they are talking to only women, but it's not true. They're not talking to only women. People are talking to men as well. I just shared my own personal example. But if you're not intentional and you are not um, seeking deeper, you are not going to find those things. Like if you listen to me online, but you don't listen to me on radio, you won't know when my, you won't listen and listen and hear where my male callers are calling in and when we're interacting as an example, then talk about those people who are not so popular, but they're helping men. And I'll close this, this video out by saying, if you're a successful single woman and you're to meeting your husband, don't think that ah, no man is, no man, that there's no remnant. What I pride myself in is I pride myself in helping successful single women marry the remnants. Don't even joke. Don't play. There are men that are on the ground getting ready for marriage and are being formed by God. So you better don't allow the internet distract you because of the things that the blogs put to put, choose to put out or the examples, the bad examples you're seeing around you. So think about that and contact me let's work together so that we can help you meet and marry your husband who is a remnant that the lord is also preparing i'm safe now and i will see you in my next video but you can definitely see me on previous videos one of these previous videos that you've missed thank you so much for listening